Jensen Huang just officially stated that the new Turing series is going to be 6 times faster than the Pascal series, at least for the Quadro lineup. But will that performance carry over to the mainstream platform as well? Welcome to Hari's Hobbies. So first of all, there's actually a flaw in that comparison. They're comparing Turing and Pascal, but they should be comparing Turing and Volta because Volta is the newest platform. And so in reality, the generational gap between current generation and next generation Turing is not as big as they make it seem. As a result, we are probably not going to be seeing such a big performance upgrade on the mainstream platform because there really is no reason for that. From NVIDIA's perspective, the 10 series is already a top of line graphics card and there's no competition from anyone else. So it really makes no sense to give away that much performance when they don't need to. However, this does not mean that the 11 series won't have a good generational gap over the 10 series. This just simply means that it won't be as big as it may seem from NVIDIA. The new Quadro series is using the RTX naming scheme, which can be attributed to its tensor course and ray tracing technology. And according to the latest rumors, the top level 1100 series or 2000 series cards, the 1170 and 1180, or 2070 and 2080 are also going to be part of the RTX series, so we may be seeing ray tracing and tensor cores even in the mainstream platform. This itself would lead to a significant upgrade over the 10 series, but there are other new features coming along with the 11 series as well which will improve performance. One of which is the all but confirmed new GDDR6 memory which is significantly faster than GDDR5X and GDDR5 memory and the new 12 nanometer architecture. What performance upgrade the 12 nanometer process will provide over the 16 nanometer process is something that we don't know. However, the 12 nanometer process is a noteworthy upgrade nonetheless. And finally, we have the new Turing architecture as new technology part of the 11 hour series as well. Last generation, Nvidia advertised Pascal as being 10 times faster than Maxwell, and we saw a 2 GPU leap forward. So last generation, the 1060 was pretty close to the 980. This time, we are seeing NVIDIA advertising Turing as being 6 times faster than Pascal. So this time we will probably see a GPU upgrade of about 1 level or a little bit more than that. What I mean by that is the 1180 will slightly be better than the 1080 Ti and the 1170 will slightly be better than the 1080 and so on and so forth. And that is precisely what the newest rumor suggests. According to the newest rumor, the RTX 2080 is supposed to be 8% faster than the GTX 1080 Ti and the RTX 2070 is supposed to be 17% faster than the GTX 1080. As for the GTX 2060, that is rumored to be 7% slower than the GTX 1070 and the GTX 2060 is rumored to be 18% slower than the GTX 1060. So more or less, we are looking at a 1 GPU level upgrade with the new 1100 series. And this rumor is suggesting normal pricing, and in reality, this is just a mainstream series and NVIDIA isn't stupid. They aren't going to price it super high where gamers can't even afford it. NVIDIA already has dedicated series for those different ranges of GPUs, and those are expensive, but this is not that. So really, there may be a small premium over what last generation launched for, maybe up to $50 due to the new GDDR6 memory, but that's pretty much the max. Honestly, I believe that NVIDIA will stick to the same pricing scheme as the 10 series, so the RTX 2080 or 1180 should be launching for $700 just like the GTX 1080. So overall, Turing will not be 6 times faster than Pascal, at least for the mainstream platform. However, the top level cards may have ray tracing and tensor cores and they will have a solid upgrade over 10 series for the same price nonetheless. And if you are struggling to choose between the 10 series and the 11 series, it is actually really simple. If you want the newest tech and the best performance and you are willing to spend a premium for that, then the 11 series is definitely for you. However, if you are looking for the best value out there, the 10 series is probably your best bet. Finally, a lot of you guys are really annoyed with all the rumors and leaks around the 1100 series when there is really not any information from Nvidia themselves. And the thing is, is that the press conference from Nvidia themselves is only 6 days from now probably even closer by the time that you guys are watching this video. So really, the wait is almost over and we should be getting official details from Nvidia themselves really really soon. But that's just what I think. What do you guys think? Do you guys think the new 1100 series will come with ray tracing technology and tensor cores? 
Make sure to comment down below what you guys think because I do read all my comments and I'm curious as to what you guys think, so make sure to post your thoughts. Also, if you guys like this video then make sure to drop a like and consider subscribing if you would like to see more videos just like this one. But until then, I'm Hari and I'll see you guys on the next one.